gorgeous peeps in my universal world of peeps. Guess what? I got two of my peeps here with me today. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Damien look like a deer in the Damien. Hayden. I mean, Hayden. Hayden. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hayden was like, what? He's like, wait a minute. Because she got my name wrong. Hayden. Hayden. <laughs> it's because I do have a Damien coming. But this is Hayden, everybody. And Emily. Hi. And today, we are going to cook jambalaya. I know it's been a long time coming, but I'm going to take you through it step by step. And we're going to make some wicked jambalaya. But before we get started, have you two got anything that you would like to say? I think you have a message, I don't you, Em? Go on, Emily. Directly to my mum. This will show you I can cook. <laughs> <laughs> and say hi to your mum. Hello, mama. <laughs> he's, like, <gasps> <laughs> he's, like, he's like, I didn't know I agreed to all of this. <laughs> so. First thing first, what we're going to be making is a meat jambalaya. But when I make my jambalaya, I always make it from a vegetarian point of view. The actual rice is going to be separate, the rice and vegetables. And then we're going to make the meat separately. Then you can combine them together, okay? That way you can feed a vegan, a vegetarian, a pescatarian, or a libertarian, or a meatitarian. <laughs> a libertarian? Yeah, that's somebody who's liberal, likes it all. Okay. Okay? So... First thing first, gonna get, I'm going to get some help here, is can I get you guys over here? I want you to, one of you are going to be dicing, one of you are going to be slicing. So each color, so if you do all of those sliced, mm -hmm. okay, and here, hold up, let me cut this knife, and I'm um, not, cut this onion in half, because, oh, this knife is bad. Let me get you a, a sharper knife, because that one ain't going to do the job. Let me get you a good one, but this one's super sharp, so don't cut your fingers. All right, so you're going to be slicing. Even the onions are going to be sliced. You're going to be dicing. I'm going to get you a small one. And why is that, Ma? Okay, because the diced are going to go into the jambalaya, the rice part. The slice is going to go in with our meats, okay? Right. So if you can start on that. So that's the first thing first. It, peel them down. This is being difficult. Have you ever had jambalaya before, Emily? No, no, I'm really excited. I've heard all about it. Oh, you're gonna love it. Here, let me just grab that away from you. Cheers. Okay, cut that bit off. Great. Have you ever had it, Hayden? No, never. Oh, you're gonna love it. If you like rice, um, have you ever had paella? Mm, yeah. It's similar. Yes. It's similar, although it's different because usually paella is just kind of like chicken and seafood, mm. Mm. this combines the chorizo or you could use any kind of a sausage, a meaty oh, nice. sausage with it. Yeah, that's perfect. And then just leave, move, Stella. Ain't nothing but an onion Stella. bone. Move. Yeah, I like it. It'll yeah. make you cry. Yeah, go on, eat it. Yeah, do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like kids, isn't it? You won't like it, but you go. There you go. Yeah, I'm going to just rinse this out. So if you can put the diced ones in here. The slice can remain, the slice can go in there. Okay, that's perfect. So is it like half uh, of each color of pepper? Yeah, yeah. and I use Great. a red, a white, red, um, yellow, and green peppers. Um, you know me, I love cooking with color, and I think when you eat, you eat with your eyes as well, and you want to see that variety and that difference. Although this is a really colorful dish because we're going to be adding vegetables to it as well. Fantastic. Okay. All right. So whoever finishes first, I want you also just, we only need a bit of celery, about that much, but I like that diced, okay? Because your celery, your onions, and your peppers are called the trinity. Of soul food. Those are the bases. Um, a lot of dishes start with that, okay? So we need to get some celery into this. Great, it's looking good. A little bit, yeah, that's it. Go on, there you go. <laughs> so Hayden won, so he's on to the celery, and that's going to go in this bowl. Perfect. Okay, so these two lovely people, they came and did a cooking experience with me last week um, where we just did the southern fried chicken, all of our bases. So they're back to 
to do the jambalaya <laughs> and I gave them some love ducks. Have you been using your love ducks? I have been putting it in everything. And everything. <laughs> have you noticed a difference though? Can't you notice a difference in the flavor? It it's just kind of yeah. ups it, doesn't it? Pot noodle. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. and that's and that's what you should do. <laughs> He's committed a crime. He told me that he put some in cereal. Yeah. Wheat a bix. Wheat a bix. You didn't though, did you? No, no I didn't. Okay, <laughs> just checking. Okay. It's really good on popcorn. Is it? Actually. Oh yeah, yeah. It's really oh, good on popcorn. Delicious on popcorn. Mm. Salted, right? It's salted <laughs> and butter. If you do some oh. butter popcorn, oh Lord of <laughs> mercy. Okay, so the beginning steps of our jambalaya. The very first thing we're going to do is I'm going to add some oil to this pan. So this is a little bit like, you know when we did the rice and peas, this pot's hot, so that's mm. why I've taken it off. I've got to have the heat on. It's probably, the thing's probably going to go off. Remember I said we season our pot rather than our dish. Same thing here. So we're going to take some love dust. I'm going to pour some love dust in with the oil. Right. Wish it around. It's, it was hot. Straight to this, can you um, dump in the onions, peppers, okay, give that a toss, yep, give that a toss, make sure it's all in, great, and now can I get the rice, somebody bring me the rice over, uh, that's it, in. yep, pour it all in, okay, I am going to add just a touch of salt. And I'm putting that just there, all right, on the side. I'm now going to stir just those vegetables there, just our, because I want to coat it, okay? Remember, now can you see how every kernel of, not mm -hmm. kernel, every grain of rice, can you see that? Yeah. It's taking on that flavor. Okay, I'm going to come back over to the stove. Now I'm going to add some turmeric. Is yeah. Okay, great. I'm gonna add a little bit of turmeric. Okay. And now to this, we're going to add some frozen mixed vegetables. Can I get those? Okay. Nothing wrong with frozen people. A lot of times these can be better for you because they're picked immediately, frozen, and they're quite fresh. And it's convenience. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's about cooking quickly and conveniently. So we're now going to just add those straight in. Going to give that a stir. Okay. Now because I knew you guys were coming today and I knew that we are going to be making a meat jambalaya, a, a meat based one, um, I made some ch chicken stock for you okay mm. so this is just fresh chicken um they they like the tips from wings i just boil them all up and i made you a homemade chicken stock mm. okay so this homemade chicken stock now is going to go into the pan now if people don't have homemade if chicken, you don't have it so. just water will do but i recommend getting you a stock cube to add to it i am also going to add this okay this is a rich and smoky stock pot okay mm -hmm. and it just gives that rice a really mm -hmm. smoky flavor all right if you don't have it you can just get some liquid smoke to add to it all right Again, if you don't have that it's optional it's not essential it's not no. essential but if i'm going to do it i'm going to do it right and show you how i do it okay so we're now going to add this stock straight to it all right we're going to give that a little stir smells great and now because it is jambalaya and jambalaya is meant to be a spicy mm. kind of a dish we're going to add a scotch bonnet chili <laughs> what we're not going to do, space is like, what we're what not going to do <laughs> is we're not going to slice it or cut it up because then it's going to release so much heat it might be overpowering mm. but by just adding it whole it it releases flavor, but it doesn't overpower it. And then at the end, we remove it. Mm. All right? I'm going to tell you a story, though. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, so I'm going to drop that in. And it needs a little bit more water. So let me just get a little bit more stock. That's a big one, too. It is a big one. Um, 
Let me see if I got a small. No, no, it'll be fine, Mom. It'll be fine. It'll because, be fine. Because we want to cook that flavor, but we will remove it. Mm. I did a outside like catering um, pop event, up. a pop-up in Kent two weeks ago, and I made jambalaya, and I was, because they, they were eating it fast. So I was, as quick as I could make it, they were eating it, so I was constantly making it. And with my jambalaya, I like to add, for the vegetarians, I put cherry tomatoes in it. Mm. Um, so what I did was, because this customer wanted some, and I said, oh, I'm going to give you some of my vegetables as well as the meat. Mm. Well, I hadn't realized that I had scooped up the um, scotch on the chili. I thought it was a, oh, okay. a cherry, cherry tomato. And bless him, so did he. <laughs> he was going, he was going, oh, mama, this is delicious. This is... <laughs> <laughs> and I was going, what's the matter with <laughs> And I went, you could see the blood. You could, just, you could just see it going like this. And I went, spit it out! <laughs> but and he did it, he and swallowed he went, it already. Went, oh God, I've swallowed it. <laughs> and then everybody, oh bless him though, he was so good. He was so, so good. I was giving him beers and all sorts of things <laughs> to drink. Oh, so yeah. wow. oh my what? God, but it was funny. So, guys, pretty much. That is it for the rice side. So we're now going to walk away from this. And what we're going to do is I'm going to do some catfish goujons for you guys right now just so you can eat some of those. Then we're going to come back and we're going to cook the chicken, the chorizo, our prawns, and our vegetables, which are going to go with this, okay? And then it's all done. So we'll come back to you in a second. So, all right, so this rice has now been cooking for about... 20 minutes or so. I want you to come over and have a look. Look at that. So, I'm going to remove this pepper just for the moment. Give it a stir. Just so I can stir that all up. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Almost there. Now, watch. I'm going to bury this back in the middle. And I have a lid. I had a lid. I've got it for you. Mm. Oh, it's, it's on it's the here. draining board. And pretty much, wait a minute, let me just check that one more. Yeah, that's right. So I'm going to cover it and then I'm going to turn it off. Okay? Because it will continue to cook and steam. Alright? But here, I want you to have a, a little bit of a. Both of you take a little bit of that just so you can get an idea. Mm. Okay? Because mm. you want that little bit of a crunch for the moment. Yeah. Okay? Because remember, we're now going to be adding more things to it. Mm -hmm. Alright? But no, it really is nearly that. Yeah. But it's almost done. Don't worry right. about it. It's just a thing. Right. So, now we're going to move on to turn that on. We're actually going to saute some vegetables, okay? But no, we'll start off with the meat. So I need some olive oil. I need some love dust. What's she barking at? Oh, the back door. The back, the back fridge. So she knows there's food in the fridge. And we're going to season this pot. So, can you bring me the chicken over, please? You see the chicken? There's some diced chicken there. That's oh, right there, sweetheart. Oh, yeah, in front of me. Yeah. That's what it always is. Okay. Stella Hush. Now, this chicken has been marinating um, overnight with some love dust, and I always like to put some a bit of lemon juice through it, right, so, and I seconds. leave the lemon in it. Okay. So, our love dust has melted down, so we're going to add this chicken right now and it's going to be a lot okay to this chicken can you get me the sliced onions and peppers please okay so we're going to add some onions Might as well just toss it all in. All of those onions and peppers. Okay, let's just put this here. Now, we're going to let this cook 
for about five, ten minutes. Then we're going to add the chorizo directly to this. The last thing we add is the prawns, and that's because the prawns don't take any time to cook. All right, so let's get this chicken cooking first. And I think what I want to do while I'm doing the chicken, I am going to, in another pan, I'm going to move this chicken to the center, really get some good high heat on it. <coughs> and in this pan, we are going to add some love, love dust. dust. Now how do we say it? We go, <laughs> love dust, baby, yeah. Oh, Lord. Pium! <laughs> That's the way. Oh, oh, yes. So, we come back over here. I have a courgette quite large one. So I'm going to dice our courgette. Nice big pieces. Zucchini for our American followers. And we have a quite little baby aubergine. Eggplant for our American followers. Eggplant for those. And let's get this. Dice this up because when we put this jambalaya together it is just going to look like Heaven on a plate. All right. So, let's come over. Oh, let me show you another thing I've got to add right now. Let me do it. I'm going to chop up some coriander. Okay, so somebody grab the board for me. Bring the board over. Thanks, Hayden. Thank you. Now, our jambalaya at the back, I'm going to now at this stage take some fresh coriander, put it there, put it in, and kind of give that a stir. Cover it back over. All right, two seconds. Fish. Okay, and then in this one, we're going to add our aubergine and don't put your hands in the pot like I'm doing people <laughs> yes please don't but I'm breaking it up okay now aubergines use a lot they, they just basically swallow up the oil so we're going to need to look at that see how it's gone disappear from the pan but let's give it a toss because look at that though it may have disappeared but my love dust don't disappear. A little bit, of, bit more olive oil on that. And I'm going to add a touch of black pepper to this. And now let's come over here to this. Okay, let's have a look. Notice how I put it in and I didn't touch it. Always leave your meat to cook a bit and to seal. Now we can turn it. Okay, some people when they make their jambalaya, they add their meat directly to the rice when it's cooking. I don't. I just find I like to keep it separate. It offers more options. I also find the chicken dries out. And the chicken dries fresh. out. Mm. This if it's way. boiling in there, it dries yeah. out. We're keeping it fresh. Now, can you get me that um, chorizo, please? So here we have, I am using... This is just your regular chorizo raw, so we're going to cook it. But I'm also putting some pepperoni through it, okay? So we're going to have a really nice, nice mixture. So let's take these out. I'm going to separate them. So let's get our chorizo. Put that in with the chicken. Just pull those apart. And then with these, I'm just going to... Really, because they're just together. I'm just going to separate them. Okay, nice. Whoops. Uh-oh, it is a dog. <laughs> I'm surprised. What you I'm surprised. Let me get this up. Put this in the bin. Yeah, she come. doesn't need that with those spices. Okay, so, here we go. Let's just get this. Now, usually... I would have reserved and I should. Oh no, actually, I can do it. 
All right, see this, my chicken stock? I'm going to add a little bit of water to that because usually I hold back some of my stock. I just poured it all in. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add just a little bit of the stock to here. And if it were a vegetable stock, I'd add it to the rest. All right, just a little bit. And that just helps it. Oh, isn't that looking nice? So let's give this a stir. And depending on how spicy you want it, you can add some additional chilies directly to this. I'm not going to put them in because we don't know how powerful and potent that scotch bonnet <laughs> We're gonna is. We're going to find out. <laughs> but we will find out. So, great. Now, when I get to this stage, I'm going for one of my chunky pieces. All right, look at that. It's nearly cooked. So at this stage, can you bring me the prawns? Yeah, they're going to do the plate. Okay, so I'm just going to pour off some of that water. And now these are raw prawns, okay? You could go with your cooked pink ones already, but we're doing it fresh. <laughs> so we're going to just add those prawns to it. And they will cook off really quickly. And then... On the top of all of that, bam! Boom! Okay, now, watch, I'm taking these and I'm putting it over top, and I'm going to just use that as a lid just to let it simmer together, okay? And, shush, Stella! You now have and what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty this out into a large pot combine the meat stir it all together so you can see what a proper traditional jambalaya looks like I need to and go and check on the dog ain't nothing wrong with that dog but it's noisy in the video and we don't want barking in the video mom so I was gonna be make her be quiet yeah right <laughs> <laughs> like she gonna listen she ain't gonna listen Stella Watch this. <laughs> Come on. Out. Out you go. Go outside, Stella. In the garden. <laughs> she's fighting because she's stubborn. <laughs> she's stubborn. She knows. She's so tiny. Outside, Stella. Out. Out. Thank you, Hayden. <laughs> okay. She's demanding to be Okay, so now, watch this. This pot here. Mm. So. One big pot. It's a big pot, but you're going to need it for all of this. When we put this all together. Oh, this looks so good. Look at here, look at here. Come over here and look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, I can't wait for this. Okay. Okay, let's just leave that for another couple of minutes. So now we're going to take our rice. Take the scotch bonnet out. I'm going to, when I turn it out, I'm going to turn it all into here. And look at all that juice. That's what we want. You want all that stock and like gravy. Okay, Hayden, I want you to go through there and find me that jumbled up, that scotch bonnet, please. What? The pepper. The pepper. The pepper. The pepper. Find it. Just oh, get oh, with the it. spoon. Oh, yeah. spoon so see if you can it. find it so we can get, take it out. Save ourselves. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Got it. Get it's alright, I'll get it. Got it? Because it did it break apart? No, it stayed whole. Right. Oh, alright, are you filming that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's the scotch oh. bonnet. Okay, okay, great. All the steam, you can't really see. Steamed up my lens. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Hayden. <laughs> okay. And now, here we go. Oh. Wow, sir. Can you give that a good stir? Mm. Yep, good stir, please. So combine it all. Oh, wow. Here, there you go. Here. Oh, that smells good. There you go, big spoon. Oh, there we go. Big spoon for free. I'll take yours. Fantastic. Oh, Mum, I can smell that scotch bonnet. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's good. Mm. Can't 
Give me a plate. So let's go get your plates. And you two want to sit down and eat now. Oh, mm, fill me one as well. <laughs> I'm right. not even joking. I know. I haven't eaten today. So yeah, out. bring the plates. Is that big enough for you? Oh, <laughs> no. That's huge. <laughs> Here, hold that. Okay, Mum, I need a shot. Let me can start off. Okay, wait a minute. Let me just get the plates. It's too much steam. Okay, step back. Okay, so tell me, what do you think? So, so good. So simple and so good. Yeah, absolutely. It's something that I could see making at, on like a Monday or, yeah. or a Sunday. And then just microwaving it throughout the week. Exactly. Mm. And that's what you can do. And it freezes perfectly. Oh it freezes. That's even better. So you can make a big uh, pot like this yeah. up and then portion it off, put it in the freezer, mm. and then you have your own kind of takeaway, easy food, but good food. Mm. And you know what's in it. You know exactly what's yeah. in it. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, Great. Okay, I'm going to leave you all to enjoy. Mm. Thank you. Eat, eat, eat. So... We have here our meat jambalaya mama cherry Oh my way. gosh, look at that. Okay, mm. with our chicken, chorizo, prawns, aubergine, and our um, courgettes, onions, and peppers, and rice, and spice. <laughs> and with a little love, whole lot of peace, and soul from the mama, Emily, and Hayden. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Until the next time. They now gonna sit down and enjoy. Yeah, we're gonna film that. Y'all need to do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, All here right. we go. All right.